Hey guys, today we're here to do a Charmin Ultra Strong torture test. And I'm really, really excited about this. Probably a little bit too excited about toilet paper. But thank you so much Charmin for um, sponsoring our video today. They are allowing us to do two fun tests to test out their toilet paper to make sure it is good and safe and sturdy for our family. My name is Jennifer, this is Chris, my husband, and we have three little kids, so having good toilet paper is definitely a must for us because our three kids are potty trained, about to be potty trained, and then not potty trained. So we are into the bathroom thing right now. We yeah. Kind of, we're, we need good toilet paper. Yeah. So, I've always had a motto, and do not laugh at me, but my motto, and Chris knows this, is if you can see through it, you can pee through it. Obviously, you don't want your hands to be dirty, so if you can see through the toilet paper, then when you go to wipe yourself, you're definitely gonna get something on your hands. Yeah, we started doing these experiments, and you know, when you buy cheap toilet paper, it's uh, the obvious effect is that it's not comfortable, but it was really enlightening to see how disgusting it really is. I mean, it's disgusting when you use cheap toilet paper and yeah. uh, we've, we've got some experiments that we put together to kind of show you why it's really important, not only for comfort, but also for sanitation, why you should uh, right. invest. You're never too poor for cheap toilet paper. Well, I was gonna mention that too. So people are always th saying like, oh, it doesn't really matter. I'll just get the cheap kind and you know, it'll last me longer. I'll pay less for it. But honestly, you guys, We've had cheap toilet paper before, and when you use the cheap toilet paper, you have to use a lot more sheets, I yeah, feel like. like. three times more. You're like rolling the sheets out because you need to have it thick enough so that you don't get your hands dirty. And then if you're using the good kind, the thick, nice kind, when we were at my mom's house a few weeks ago, she had really thick toilet paper. Remember, I was like, yeah. Mom, this thick toilet paper, and she was laughing at me for even like noticing. But you only have to use like one or two sheets or three sheets instead of like, 10 or 12 sheets and so yeah. really you're saving money by using the good thick nice kind i mean it's thick it's more comfortable because but because it's not cheap it's not going to like clog up your septic tank or anything like that so it's yeah. like it's good for i mean it's good on all, all phases around. that you look at it yeah so we have some fun tests this first test we're going to test the Charmin ultra strong and then cotton L toilet paper and we have them on this little, uh, whoops, on these cups. And we'll zoom in for you guys so you can see when we actually do the whoops. test. But we're gonna put five poker chips on each, where did our other poker chips go? We're gonna put five poker chips. This is our Charmin toilet paper and it's one sheet. Why and then we, we put have one Charmin sheet. Charmin on this side. Yeah. And then we have one sheet of the Cottonelle toilet paper in this embroidery hoop with five poker chips on each one. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna pour one milliliter of water. Five poker chips. Yep, we're gonna pour one milliliter of water around the poker chips on each toilet paper. And then we're gonna add poker chips to see which one is stronger. Do the Charmin. You dip down. You did? But it's holding. Yep, it's holding on. Okay. It's not leaking through either. So All right. It's dry. I'm going to add five chips to this one. This is making me nervous, but it's doing good. Oh my gosh, you guys. So oh my holding. gosh. It's not. Oh my gosh, it has 10 chips on there. All what? right. Cottonelle. Ooh, ah. Oh my gosh, oh Ugh. my gosh. We didn't even get to put and that's any extras. all over your hand. Yeah, gross. So clearly, look, it's still holding on. Okay, so that was very interesting. Yeah. 
I didn't even get to put any other chips on top of the Cottonelle one. That's what I was saying earlier. It's like, like we put five extra chips on the Charmin and I thought we'd at least put like one or two on the other one, but we didn't even get to put any before it fell down. Yeah. That's what I was saying. It's like, you know, you, you think about comfort, but like then that's the stuff that's on your hands. Yeah. Isn't that gross? Gross to me. That's really gross. We're going to test Charmin one more time. And this time we're going to test it against Scott's toilet paper. So um, we have three strips down here. And again, I'll zoom in for you guys. We're gonna pour water on it and then we're gonna put a half dollar on and see if it can hold the half dollar in the toilet paper strip. I'm a little bit nervous about this one. I mean, these things are pretty heavy. Yeah, I mean a half dollar. Uh, All right, here we go. Okay, so before we do this experiment, you can even just see, like just notice how you can see our granite through this toilet paper and you can't through this one hardly at all. So that's kind of a, big difference i think the charmin toilet paper is really soft yeah, it and it has like a quilt pattern i'll show you guys on the roll it has like a quilt pattern that makes it like soft and thicker so mm -hmm. all right let's do this experiment all right so same thing we're gonna syringe one milliliter in the middle and then we're gonna put the half dollar right in the middle oh my gosh i'm nervous then and then we're gonna it lift up. it up yeah wow all right no problem oh my gosh oh my gosh pretty sturdy wow that's impressive okay. okay all right we're gonna do the same thing with the scott's toilet paper okay pour it right in the middle one milliliter Ooh. Maybe. oh my gosh you he's making already, the holes bigger than the other one tell how oh my gosh but already i don't know oh. no it didn't. Oh, just, just it disappeared oh no <laughs> it just disappeared Wow. Wow. I kind of could have guessed that from how thin, like look how thin this is. I mean, you can, I mean, just how absorbent, like how much more, like, yeah. I mean, that's one milliliter, right? Look, it's like pretty much that whole, pretty much took that whole thing. Not good. Like this one, it's like, I got, it's completely dry here. I, I still have like really two whole sheets left. That's true. I only took up one feet. So, yeah, I mean, you can just see like here are the three sheets that we used. That's all three in one ball. Yeah, here is just one third of what we used for the Charmin. So, I mean, you can see just how much further your money goes. Yep. I, think I trust a my hands in Charmin. <laughs> yes. And I trust our kids, because that's the thing. Like, I mean, obviously, we know, like, if we're. I put Charmin in good hands. We can be like, oh, we need to wash our hands, or we use nasty toilet paper. But with our kids, first of all, they're just learning how to wipe themselves. It's a soft they're missing. Make a pillow they're rolling out of it. too much. They're rolling too little. Oh my gosh. So, you know what I mean. So, anyways, thank you again, Charmin, for sponsoring our video. We had a lot of fun doing these um, little tests. It was enlightening, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. We'll be sharing the information with our friends and our family to definitely buy Charmin instead of the other brands. So just but do it. Just go with the brown bear. Really, it's not even that much more money, I don't think. So don't it's think really it not that. I think definitely. It's a no brainer. You do, yeah, yeah. But I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We do fun videos like this all the time and some daily vlogs. So we will see you in our next video. Bye. Peace.